It's your old buddy, Rusty Russell. And this is set to autofocus. In their lineup, this is their flagship. This lens is available in Canon EF, Nikon F, and Sigma SA mounts. To Sigma, it provides a mount that goes to the Sony E mount. It has the Canon EF mount. I purchased this lens with the Canon EF mount because a Sigma representative explained to me prior to purchasing this lens that the Canon EF mount would best work with Sigma's mount converter that converts Canon EF to Sony E mount for Sony cameras if it's a Sony because that's what I've tested this with with the Sony a7r5 and a Sony ZV-E10 and a Sony ZV-1 this is also the lens I own and I have used for nearly a full year at different times and a Sony Alpha one also keep in mind this video is not sponsored by Sigma Sigma is unaware of me making this video and today I'm discussing my own personal opinions this does have some pretty good glass in it the glass provides very sharp detailed pretty good overall stable eye Sigma says that this lens also boasts a built-in optical stabilizer for about four stops of compensation. Sigma states it has top-level optics. Sigma says it has a fast and quiet hypersonic motor when autofocus. Sigma says it's built tough with enhanced dust and splash resistance and a water and oil repellent front coating. I agree with this. I use this lens outdoors and it held up very good in the weather. Sigma says this lens is designed to keep out the elements with its dust and splash proof construction. It features exclusive low dispersion glass, a robust tripod socket with 90 degree right there clip stops and multiple focus and stabilization switches for different shooting scenarios. Yeah. I agree with that statement. It really does have all that. However, one thing I wanna point out, the buttons and the switches on this lens, top notch. I mean, they are hardy, they are strong, they are not going nowhere. And man, if you know me and you've been out in the wilderness with me shooting, you know I love my switches, especially when I'm on sports type situations in photography. I'm just, the guys next to me or the ladies next to me that are shooting, they're like, Rusty, quit with the switches, quit with the switches. I've run these switches over and over and over and they hold up very, very well. I totally agree with that statement. These are great switches. Now, let's get personal. Hold nothing back, I'm about to get personal. I've been using this lens for nearly a full year on my Sony a7R5 and the ZV-E1 probably 90% of the time. I've played with it a little bit on my Sony Alpha A1 and I played with it a little bit on my ZV-E10 with Sigma's Canon EF to Sony E-mount adapter. I will tell you this, in fast paced sports like racing and motocross, autofocus speed and accuracy are on spot. At 10 frames per second have not had a problem. Image, clarity and the beautiful soft background effect are impressive from this lens however the lens is sharp and the build quality is weather resistant just like they say it produces sharp images with a lovely bokeh it's it's its own kind of bokeh if you're looking for like looking up at the sky and seeing a gray cloud look like a gray cloud with no contrast to it and just boom I mean it's really neat when you have a picture for instance a bird and you get that just solid color behind it so that is where it does shine there. It's made with a durable magnesium alloy barrel and features handy switches like I talked about before earlier for focus modes, focus limits, and stabilization settings. You can also customize these settings by using the Sigma USB Hub UD11. Log into your computer. I mean, geez, the things that you can do with these settings is quite impressive. Big hats off right there to Sigma for what they did with that USB Hub that they created for this lens. So what's my verdict? Well, here's my verdict. When using the Sigma mount converter MC11 that allows you to use the Canon EF mount on this lens and convert it to a Sony E mount that I use Sony lenses, I give this lens Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for more in-depth reviews. If you haven't had a chance, check out my Set to Autofocus podcast. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.